Okay, I have just sewn the back um, seam to my skirt overlay. I finished the seams with my serger. If you don't have a serger, you could zigzag it or um, whatever other method of finishing that seam off that you would like. Um, I left about the top five inches open up here and I'll show you why later. But when you sew the skirt together, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to leave this opening. Um, now I'm going to take it over to my serger. I'm going to do a rolled hem. If you don't have a serger, you can do a very small hand rolled hem. Just roll it up and stitch along that edge. <clears throat> so anyway, I will see you back as soon as that's done. Now that I have the finished hem on both my underskirt and my overskirt, I've taken them over and I've cut them to the final length. Okay, um, my preference is to have the overskirt just like a quarter inch longer than the underskirt. So when I cut them, I cut those accordingly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, serge or zigzag the top hems of the skirts together. I'll show you what that looks like. What we plan on doing is sewing down through both the outer skirt and over skirt. We're going to sew all the way down till we get to the bottom of that V. We're going to leave our needle in and we're going to pivot. Then we're going to sew back and forth across at the bottom and then back up the other side. The reason for this is we're going to use a button closure on the bodice and you need to have a little bit more than just the bodice. You have to be able to get down into the skirt for some ease of making sure it's easy to get on and off. So that's all there is to that. Um, Here's what it looks like when you're done and when we pull our bodice to do the button closing it'll close up and then we're also going to have a bow so it'll be perfectly fine and it's a quick and easy way to do a button closure on a, on a dress. Okay I've cut a four and a half inch piece of tool um, to go around the top of my skirt. Um, tulle is not nylon scrubby material. Tulle is really soft and it's not scratchy anywhere. Um, if you pick the wrong kind of lining it will be scratchy and miserable for the child to wear. So pick the right one that's nice and soft. I cut this four and a half inches by the same size as the top of the skirt. Then I took um, the right amount of tool to do the length that I want to do um, for the skirt um, according to the chart and I gathered it all up all right and I'm not even gonna try to make it match this I just gathered a nice full bunch I'm gonna take it over and attach it to the bottom of this and where it ends up it ends up um, I'm sure that there's going to be leftover um, if you have a serger do it on your serger if you only have a sewing machine uh, do a nice little zigzag stitch uh, we're going to put the seam on the outside not next to the baby's skin so I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done here's what the petty skirt looks like um, this is going to be my seam that's going to face towards the front and you can see it's kind of ungangly there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, I'm going to put it down like this and zigzag it into place. Um, my one word, uh, working with tool can be a real challenge. So the trick of gathering this and then attaching it to here, um, making sure that you've made enough to have leftovers, instead of trying to make it completely match um, is great. And I've left the back open and we're going to sew that up um, when we put it into the skirt. So here's what it looks like. Um, this is our finished length. The reason you do it this way, um, it's pretty obvious, but just in case you didn't know, um, this part's going to go up around the waist and you don't want any of this bulk up in there. So you just want this nice little piece here and all of the pretties down at the bottom. So let me show you what I'm going to do next. 
here I am on the inside of the skirt. Um, I have the top of the petticoat. I'm just going to do a, a large zigzag stitch right along the top here, attaching it to the top. And if you'll notice, it should come down and be uh, just slightly shorter than um, your skirts down here. So anyway, I'll do that and then see you at the end. Okay, we're getting up to the end, and I'm going to flip this back a little bit on itself and finish zigzagging off the edge. We're back to where we have, I've attached this. I have sewn um, a nice little zigzag seam up the back, attaching the bottom ruffles together. Okay. And we're at this back slit. Um, I have folded back the edges like when we started. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go top stitch this down like we did the first time. Just so that uh, there's no place open for little hands or fingers to get in there and rip the petticoat when you're trying to put it on and off. So anyway, let me do that and I'll show you what it looks like. So here's what the inside looks like. We have the the outer skirt, the inner skirt, and the petticoat all stitched together so it's nice and secure. This is what the outside looks like here and this will go across each other when we put the bodice on. So let's continue. We're now going to start to work on the bodice. We cut um, each of the lining, the outer fabric, and the overlay fabric of the front and the back, and then just two of the over fabric for the sleeves. I've attached the um, overlay over the, the fabric. Um, you can serge it or you can use a zigzag, whatever you have, to make sure that it lays nice and flat and smooth so when we sew it together um, this can't slide back and forth and it will um, be a nice finished product. Our next step is to sew the shoulder seams together and press your seams open flat on both the outside and the lining fabric. My one tip on lining fabric, this is a Collie Potton blend and it's very sheer and very lightweight. Um, basically the only reason that we want to line this bodice is to help us with um, hiding all of our, our raw edges, so the less bulk the better. Um, this is our sleeve, and we run a gathering stitch um, from dot to dot across the top of the sleeve, um, and then we're going to pull it up um, nice and tight. This is going to be like a little um, princess sleeve by the time we set it in to our bodice. Okay, to set our sleeve, um, what I like to do is line up the edge here with your edge there, the side seams side seam and underarm and pin and then just kind of follow it up and put another pin then I go to the other side and I do the same two pins and then you end up with something that looks kind of like this pick the center of your sleeve center of your gathers making sure all your gathers are nice and even and attach it to the center seam the center shoulder seam Okay, now um, you may need to adjust, pull a few more gathers in to make it be the right size. Just keep pinning. Do the same on this side over here. Okay, and then pin it in place. And then we're going to sew just from the side seam underarm to the other side seam underarm. Okay, after I've sewn in the sleeve, it looks like this on the inside and it looks like this on the front side. So repeat for the other sleeve. Our next step is we're going to make button loops. If you are confident doing button holes, you can skip this loop, skip this step, and just do uh, button holes at the end on your bodice. But if you would like to use button loops instead, this is what we do. I cut a piece of the fabric um, so that it's one inch wide, and I folded one raw edge towards the middle, the other raw edge towards the middle, and then I folded it in half like this, okay? Now we're going to take it over to our machine 
and we're going to start by sewing down the folded side. So both of those folded edges are right to this side and we're just going to sew down. step is that we're going to cut each of these approximately two inches long. Um, lay it out flat like this, take one end, put it up towards the top, the other end up towards the top, line them up, smash it down flat, okay, put a pin in here across the bottom, okay, and we're going to sew right across, right above that pin right there, and that'll make our button loop. Um, these are three inches long. It gives me plenty of room to sew it into the seam of the back bodice and plenty of room to make the button loop. I'll show you more in a minute. We're getting ready to add the back um, interfacing of the bodice and so I've pinned up here at the top. Um, that'll represent the seam that I'm going to sew around the top. We're going to put our button loops just below that top seam and they're going to be something like this. Um, all right, and put your pins so that they come out on this side over here, like this, so that when we get ready to sew down this side attaching our interfacing, we can pull those pins out and not run over them with our machine. Okay, so here we are. Um, we're going to be sewing um, up the back, around the neck, down the other side here. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to take and roll up our sleeve just so that it's way out of the way, okay? And we're going to take and put this facing over our armhole and pin it also, okay? So you want to make sure that the sleeve is way out of the way and we're just going to sew around the armhole with our facing also. All right. We're not going to sew the side seams here or the bottom. Side seams here or the bottom. We're only going to do around the arms, around the neck, and down the back. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, I've sewn around the sleeves, around the neck, down the back. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to clip off this corner so that when um, this is turned right side out I can get a good um, square corner. Okay, you clip close to where you sewed but not into your stitches. The other thing I'm going to do is clip around the neck close to the stitching that we just did around the neck but not through that stitching in anywhere. And I'm also going to clip the curves on the sleeves, same thing. Just clip, clip, clip. Okay. Both sleeves, same thing. Okay. Then the next part is we're going to um, turn your bodice right side out. You're going to start here at the bottom and you're going to work everything through the shoulder. Seems like it's not going to fit, but it will. You just keep pulling and pulling. And you're just going to pull it all the way through, and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Here's where we are now. We have our bodice turned. I pressed it. Uh, remember to be very careful with your iron and to have it the right temperature for the fabrics that you have. Our next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn up the bottom of the sleeve one small fold and then a quarter inch up to form a casing to run elastic through that sleeve. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Here's the casing that we just made at the bottom. Um, here is the elastic cut to the right length and you just attach it to a safety pin and start wiggling it through the casing and we're just going to wiggle it all the way to the other till the end I'll show you till the end is at the end of the sleeve. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, you can see it's just 
barely at the end. Then we're going to take it over and we're going to sew across that back and forth a couple times. Then we're going to finish wiggling it through. Okay. Till we get to the other side. We're going to pull it out the end, turn, and then we're going to sew across this side too. Make sure your safety pin is pulled out of the way. Then you um, cut off your safety pin. All right. And here is here is our sleeve with elastic. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to put our right sides together. We're going to line up the underarm and the side seam and then we're going to sew down the side. Okay, we're just sewing. Here's the elastic part. We're going to go back and forth across that two or three times. Make sure it's nice and secure. Then we're going to go down and sew through the lining and everything like so. Okay, then we're going to check our work. Make sure it looks good. Then we're going to trim our seam. And we're going to finish that seam either with your serger or a nice zigzag seam. Now we have our sieve set in with it has elastic which is really nice for a child and it looks like so repeat on the other side okay here is the bodice um, to this stage here um, I finished the sleeves and then I did attach the back the um, lining and the bodice together by either zigzagging or surging the seam and it should look something like this and now we're ready to attach the skirt this is our skirt um, here is the center back and it goes all the way around. Um, whenever you gather something, before you start gathering, it's really important to to mark where the center front is. I put a pin in the center front and then from that you can determine where the left side and the right side are and you'll match those up with your side seams. This gives you some reference points of getting all of these gathers evenly distributed around the bodice. Um, because we are going to lap over this opening in the back just a little bit, um, it's best to have it not quite so many gathers right on on that. So I'll show you what that looks like. Hold on. I'm going to pin it to the bodice now. Okay, I've done all the pinning. I've pinned the, the back together. I've done the reference point of the side, the center, the other side, and the back. Now I'm going to spend some time pinning and moving all of these gathers so that they're evenly distributed um, between each one of those pins, and then I'm going to sew um, the skirt to the bodice. Okay, we're now sewing the, the uh, skirt to the bodice, and there is a lot of gathers. This is an extremely full little skirt with lots of little layers. So sometimes a stylus tool can really help you um, get in there and kind of hold things and poke things around, get things nice and even. You don't want to have a lot of puckers. You just want to have nice, even gathers as you go along. So anyway, work yourself to the other side and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, the skirt has been attached. Um, this is kind of a bulky seam right here. So what I'm going to do is I am either going to trim this up by hand and zigzag it or I'm going to run it through my serger one more time to kind of take away um, some of this extra bulk and to make it a nice finished seam. So, um, here 
is what we have so far is our little dress with the dress and the little petticoat. Um, the only thing left to do um, is to measure over. Okay, you're going to fold it over about an inch here and then you're going to mark where you need to put your buttons. So the button needs to go about here. It looks a little funny because it seems so far over but those buttons will slide in here and then catch on that end piece right there. So like that. So you want to put the button close to the end and then um, if you want to attach a bow or a little cummerbund or some flowers or something um, that's up to you but this is the end of this tutorial.